going on guys it's your boy as uh we just finished off the uh node thir 13 last day and uh we're going back in here with 14 now if you guys want to check out that roster link is in the description on the first uh on the first node there and it has the roster that i'm using but anyways yeah same thing it's gonna be a pretty uh a pretty nice short video as well because uh, we've got another pretty easy simple one uh that we're going in here and uh, i would say the first two nodes is definitely the easiest uh, and then 3 and 4 or uh, 15 and 16 just require sometimes a little bit more RNG. But uh, it's definitely doable with three characters and definitely one-shottable. Um, I don't know if this is the right, correct configuration, but it seems to work for me. So we're going in with this one and uh, uh, we'll be going in with the same strategy as well. We've got uh, Symbiote Spidey Stun ready to go for the next wave here. Uh, thanks to the last one, we were able to get it up. But uh, yeah, we've got some problematic characters and... Uh, uh, the important thing is trying to make sure you can contain uh, Human Torch and uh, Mr. Fantastic. It's just like the same ones with, uh, uh, I believe it was Node Node 6 in Global. And then uh, Node uh, 12 with, um, or excuse me, Node 11 in Cosmic. Uh, if you uh, if you leave them alone, they're just going to, they're going to ult a nuke. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's absolutely dangerous, right? Um, anyways, we're going off to Shuri here first. Just get rid of her so that way she can't heal. Anytime there's a healer, we want to focus on them first because uh, they're just going to heal up our, um, you know, our, our work that we've been doing. So we want to make sure you can get rid of them. And then afterwards, uh, we're going to go after the Fantastic Four because, yeah, you leave uh, you leave them alone. They're going to just get a ton of assists in. Um, the saving grace is the fact that uh, because the Symbiotes heal uh, considerably more health than the other nodes that we've been playing, um, they are able to soak up quite a bit of damage, and I do like using Venom in this team because of the fact that he, uh, if he's over 95% health, he uh, brings the defense up to the whole team. So that's actually one of the reasons why I, I preferred him over Anti-Venom. Anti-Venom brought the revive and the immunity, which was also really nice, but uh, unfortunately, um, for some reason, the AI loves to target him, and then once they take him out... Uh, yeah, then it's it ends up being an absolute nightmare. So, anyways, that's why we are running this uh, this trio, and uh, and stunning uh, stunning uh, symbiote or excuse me, stunning uh, um, human torch is the way to go because we don't want him alting and nuking us. Uh, he can pretty much one shot us if uh, if he's got the offense up, and then uh, you want to make sure um, you can contain that. I think with the defense up we get from Venom. That does mitigate a lot of that damage, but, uh, you know, if you leave him alone, he's going to keep attacking and getting assists from these uh, Mr. Fantastics. And then we've got kind of a repeated problem, uh, same with when we dealt with the Brawlers in Note 3 with the Miss Marvels. So it's the same thing, right? We just we just don't want to leave them alone. Plus, I mean, you get Thing dropping here now as well, so he gets that extra assist from uh, Mr. Fantastic, right? So that's why we want to make sure we can get rid of those guys ASAP. Um I think from that point on, I mean, other than that, if you contain those guys, uh, pretty straightforward node. Uh, we're we're blocking uh, JJ because we don't want her moving our debuffs, so that's why we're ability blocking her. And uh, and then we'll go after uh, Mr. Fantastic again here. Uh, it's also nice uh, if you uh, put uh, Carnage as a skirmisher because he's always gonna hit first. He's the fastest one out of the trio here. And then uh, and then uh, I got Symbiote Spidey. Um, with uh i believe i got him a striker so that way if he crits um or excuse me not striker uh um raider i believe uh so if he crits uh he can get uh he can get some uh, additional vulnerabilities and then i've got uh striker on venom so that way if he hits consecutively he can rip multiple buffs off and it just i just find that the bleeds from his single target attack is also it just comes in handy just multiple bleeds uh multiple rips um Striker seems the way to go for him, but again, that's, I don't know, that uh, seems like lots of people have different combinations of the ISO 8s. So, anyways, uh, we'll keep going after uh, Mr. Fantastic here, and uh, we'll throw the stun on Human Torch again. Containing him is the best course of action, and he is quite squishy as well, so that also helps out lots. Uh, finding a nice bulky target for us to uh, use to spread, and I love Venom's spread because, yeah, it's, uh, it's just like Hella's, except for the fact that it spreads um, everything. And unfortunately, the only drawback to his ability is the fact that um, they have to be adjacent targets. So it doesn't spread to everybody, but you know what? Uh, they've each got their pros and cons, and it ends up working quite well. Um, so I do see Shuri is back on the map now, which sucks because we don't want her um, healing up characters. So that's why we want to make sure we can take care of her as well. Um, we don't need to worry too, too much on Human Torch. Uh, 
at this time because uh yeah because he is quite squishy and uh, we got the defense up as well so that mitigates a lot of that damage but once we get shuri low enough we get that turn meter going on because of the extra speed that we get from uh carnage just passive and then from that point on it just basically fuels our attack and as you guys see here um yeah so you look barely any damage there uh, onto uh, venom and uh, he's also quite tanky as well so that's nice for us but anyways yeah it's nice once you start targeting certain characters you can really get the uh, the train rolling especially once they uh, have low enough health and once they get going um, i think everybody is familiar with how the symbiotes are i mean once they get going they they're just unstoppable um same way when they're playing up against the asgardians in war uh, you just keep killing greg so they get like so much turn meter and then yeah at a certain point it just becomes unstoppable so we got rid of mr fantastic which is great and uh what we see we see okoye is low so we'll target her and just kind of get get things rolling here and then once we get to uh, uh human torch we can start ripping off his buffs as well and we can start focusing our attacks on him all right that should kill off her i think okay that didn't work that well that's okay um and it's also nice because uh yeah at this point in time i mean um we're you know thor thor is on the map but he's he is a quite a bit slower and it's, it's also nice that uh it, when we target these characters they he doesn't get any charges so he's not throwing his passive thunder on us so that's also kind of nice and uh i mean down to the last four so i mean really we don't even really we haven't even really been using our abilities but but uh obviously you want to save that stun you want to save that debuff spread from venom you want to save carnage's uh special i don't even know if i've used a special i mean uh, he, he all he really needs to do is just keep using a single target that's what i've been doing and his bleed his, his ultimate which gives the three bleeds but other than that i mean uh, that's it guys that is uh node uh uh, uh is it 15 or no no it's 14 excuse me i gotta i gotta remember what number we're on here but uh that is node 14 guys just like the first one uh pretty straightforward and uh nothing really crazy to uh you know to go over it's a pretty straightforward fight but anyways we'll go into 15 and 16 in the next one and you guys can see how we take those guys down with the three-man strategy okay guys thank you for watching stay safe and as always guys happy gaming